I did not have sexual relations with that man. I'm just kidding. I did. Possibly. He's gay, isn't he? Yep. And I was his biggest fan. That make me gay. Don't it? Yep. <laughs> Given that Sketch is gay now, I thought it was appropriate to get my, uh, my gay little drink. Oh my god, it tastes so good! Mmm! Oh my god, I'm so happy for your Scotch! Oh my god! <laughs> He's gay! It was the wee hours of the morning on July 8th, 2024. All was quiet on the Western Front until the leaks started coming. Sketch is being accused of being a gay OnlyFans creator before his fame. We have pictures of Sketch wearing some kind of leash device. Pictures of him dressed up like Wonder Woman, and even pictures of him receiving some serious BBC therapy. He was slobbing on it better than most women can even dream of, because, you know, he has one himself, he knows his way around. Good night, chat, I'm gonna f sketch in the ass. No, it's not what's going on. Whether Sketch is gay, bi, or straight, why the f do you care what another man does, okay? Two years ago, he was taking it up the ass and getting paid for it on OnlyFans. Look at this, open it honest, that was me. You know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna sit here and, and, and discriminate nobody, bro. Like, we are all human at the end of the day. Thank you, brother. Thank you, sir. Sketch is a content creator that's really blown up in the past few months. He collaborates with people like Jinxie and Queso and Kai Sinat. He exists in that sort of brain rot area of streamers, this new wave that's come up recently. I'm personally a fan of them. I think they're cool. And basically everyone knows him as the guy who looks like he may possibly have Down syndrome. And he has a lot of weird mannerisms as well. Let me gulp it. Hey, someone get that guy. Someone get that guy. Is he, someone's gotta find out what's going on with him. Oh yeah, because I got a I got a bad shoddy at the crib. And the Chiefs are gonna really? recover it. Yeah. I thought you told me you were babysitting. Well it turns out before his fame, he was an LGBT OnlyFans creator. Literally, uh he was literally slobbering on some on some BBC, you would probably say. And this has become the biggest story among every streamer online, and e even NFL players are like talking about this because Sketch plays Madden and he's like an integral part of that community online. Now, when the news broke, it seemed like things could be pretty dire for Sketch, actually. People didn't know where he was. Even content creators were worried about him. And, uh, you know, obviously, this was kind of an embarrassing thing to come out for him. He never even talked about his past online publicly, and he definitely did not want people to know. So when people did find out, he didn't know what to do. We got these text messages between him and FaZe Banks, where he's clearly distraught, and he feels like he doesn't really have any friends left. Banks asks if he's awake. Sketch says he's sorry, and he didn't mean to involve all the FaZe guys. Thankfully, though, Banks is a good dude and just told him to come over so they could just have a chat and you know have a conversation right because he is his friend and he doesn't really care about whatever he did in the past especially because it's not like sketch really did anything wrong i mean from the videos i personally think he was doing it pretty well like i'm just saying but unfortunately it seems like at the time something drastic may have been going down many people were implying that sketch was trying to unalive himself or something along those lines he was definitely going through some emotional distress so it's a good thing that he had his boys behind him at the time or else you know you don't know what could have happened when something like this happens it can feel like the end of the world and if he didn't have his friends around him i'm sure his mental state would have been completely ruined. He would have been completely f***ed up in the head and, you know, who knows what could have happened. And thankfully, his online friends like Jinxie and Queso also had his back completely. W Banks, seriously, um, <laughs> um, yeah, it's, it's good to see shit like this. It is, and, uh, this is really sad. This, this is when he was leaving and, um, <laughs> Yeah. Sketch something something. I'm like, oh no, what happened? You know, did he kill somebody? Because that's what they was, that's what they was making it seem like. I was like, yo, did, did, did Ketch, did Sketch kill somebody? Is there a bottom in, is there a body in his basement? And then I looked and saw what happened. And I'm like, I don't care. Hey, if, if you want a genuine opinion on the situation, Bro, who cares, man? As far as I know, there was no crime committed, no nothing that happened. And at the end of the day, chat, I'm a big fan of people doing whatever they want to do as long as you're not negatively affecting somebody else. That's my favorite thing in the world. And as far as I know, he ain't did nothing. So what? At the end of the day, He's still the same person he was before all this came out. And that person's a good dude. Man. So, hey, chat. 
there ain't gonna be no different treating over here. I'm gonna still play games with him, still do everything, because you know what didn't happen, man? You know what I mean? Nothing happened. You know, ultimately, I think I think this is really funny. Like, hey, let me suck your dick, brother. What's up, brother? <laughs> but ultimately, like, at the end of the day, I think Sketch being gay is something that should have nothing to do with his current content, and I don't really care. Because he is famous, obviously, it's going to be a bit of a scandal. People are going to be talking about it. But I could care less if he was, you know, slobbering on some Ugandan dong in his downtime, okay? It's just not my problem, really, and I don't think it should be anyone else's problem, frankly. If the guy is funny, then there's nothing else to really say about it. Now, if his content becomes about how he's gay or how he loves you know, being gay and he like becomes like a LGBT activist, I probably would stop watching and it's not because that's what he does, it's because I subscribe to him to watch him like be a f***ing idiot on video games and stutter and talk to OnlyFans girls and have fun, right? You know, if you were gonna take me out of country, where would you take me? I have to get to Hawaii, you know the summer vibes? I like that, I like that, but that is actually in the country. <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't, I don't follow him to, to have like a gay pride month streamer, right? And I think a lot of other people would unsubscribe too, if that was the case. But considering the fact that his content is probably not really going to change much past this point, I think he's going to be fine. Outside of his content, I really don't care what he does at all. But you know who does care? Sneeko. Obviously, he's very passionate. He's, uh, he's cock watching him. Yeah, you know, just the craziest thing about Sketch is I'm seeing everyone's like, Sketch is one of the most genuine dudes ever. He's genuinely, I don't know what's the new Twitch word. He's genuinely one of the most genuine guys ever. No, he wasn't. No, he's not. He lied to you about his life. You're acting like it was like a long... Two years ago, he was taking it up the ass and getting paid for it on OnlyFans. One of the most genuine guys that he would have been straight up about his life. What a crazy thing to keep secret. I mean, as a dude, it's kind of embarrassing to be seen sucking a literal, like, penis. Like, I don't think that's a crazy take. Obviously, you know, considering the majority of the world is straight, when we see that happening, we're like, whoa, you had a penis in your mouth. That's like, wow. But I don't think that should be something that you really care about. Like, he can do whatever he wants. He's not doing anything wrong. It's just like, you know, he likes, he likes cum. He's, he's just a guy. He's a cool guy. And on the side, he likes cum. And maybe Sketch genuinely doesn't do gay stuff anymore. You know, I don't know what's in this dude's mind. I don't know how it works. Maybe he, uh, he went through some serious BBC therapy and he no longer needs it. He no longer needs to be, you know, in the presence of men in that way. Who knows? But he's a video game streamer. I don't see why Sneeko thinks that Sketch is obligated to disclose to anyone his sexuality or his past, especially considering the past that you have, Sneeko. I mean, you have an extremely embarrassing past online, a past that I think a lot of people will consider way more embarrassing than what Sketch had going on. So I, I really don't think you're in a position to speak about literally anyone's personal life at all. Are you so parasocially attached that you feel like you need to know what's happening in the private life of every single content creator, know their entire past? You need them to, like, give you their Rolodex? so you can see everyone they know and like make sure like oh you know this guy now i can't hang out with you like it's 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 so brain dead bro it was in the it was two years ago two years ago five years ago i talked about like regrettably going to a swinger party and made jokes about it to this day they still bring it up they're like stinko's a stinko stink. and then and then sketch gets exposed for like being a gay only fans star it's in the past let it go yeah, the reason why people bring it up with you is because you grandstand about everyone else, about how everyone else on YouTube is a loser, a cuck, a beta male, and it turned out you had gone to a swinger party to watch your girl's back get blown out by another man. No one even cared that you did that, by the way, until you became Andrew Tate Jr. And then people are mad at you about it because you're obviously a hypocrite. It's the hypocrisy of the entire thing that people really hate about you. It's not that you went to some cringe swinger party when you were 20 years old, right? Like, people would get over that. You're a hero! You're so brave! You're so brave. What the f did he do? That's brave. What did he do? He got f on OnlyFans, monetized off of it, and then hit it and pretended to be a re to get fame. And now he's brave because he got exposed for it. What the f happened? I haven't seen anyone calling Sketch brave personally, but if they are saying that, I feel like they're just sticking up for him because he's someone that they like, that they, you know, look up to as a content creator. And people like you are going to call him like a total degenerate who should burn in hell and say he shouldn't have a platform anymore, which is dumb. So people want to come to his aid. Now there's another accusation people have made. They're claiming that Sketch is pretending to be autistic or something. What's up, brother? What's up, sister? 
I don't know if he's autistic. I haven't seen his autism diagnosis papers. I don't think he's ever personally claimed to be autistic. I think he just says that he has like tics, basically. Like when he gets excited, he does weird sh with his hands all the time. But I personally, even if he was like faking autism, I, I honestly wouldn't, I honestly wouldn't care, okay? Because first of all, faking disabilities is funny and hilarious and base, and everyone should do it more. And secondly, I'm not expecting Sketch to be the arbiter of morality in any way. I'm expecting him to be a funny streamer. And that's literally all that anyone else should expect too. Like, it's good that he's, he found God. If that's true, that's great. He's a Christian now. I'm very happy for him. One of the most genuine, brave heroes. That, is this Bruce Jenner 2.0? You gonna give him an award? Is he gonna get a Nobel Peace Prize for sucking black dick properly? The f*** are we talking about? Hero? I saw all these people who have never said a word about Palestine since October 7th. Bombed every day. Innocent children. We see it all over the timeline. They all see it. They're on the same Twitter app that we're all on. They see the kids getting bombed every single day. They don't say a word. Sketch takes it up the ass and everyone says, you're the best person ever. And this is the funniest thing about Sneeko. You know those like 14 year old white girls on Twitter who cancel people because they think that they don't support Palestine? They cancel people just because they don't talk about Palestine enough. They don't say it every day when they wake up. Support Palestine, free Palestine, free Palestine. Oh my God, free Palestine, free Palestine. Like that is what Sneeko is mentally. He is the Emily BLM on Twitter, okay? That is him. Like these streamers are not political activists. Queso is not gonna comment on the presidential election and he shouldn't. He plays Fall Guys on live stream and screams like a lunatic and that's all he does and that's all I want them to do. Not only should you not expect these people to be talking about ongoing political conflicts because it's like a bad idea for them to even be involved, not only should you not expect that, you should encourage them not to because they're not gonna be informed, they're not gonna have the right take, and even if they have the right take that you personally agree with, they're not gonna be informed enough to like have coherent debates about it or know what the f they're talking about. They're video game streamers, and that's all they do, and that's, that's, that's what you should let them do. You shouldn't expect anything else. Not everything leads back to Israel and Palestine. Like, I, I, I honestly can't tell if this is what Sneeko truly thinks because because he's that stupid or if he's just trying to drum up Twitter attention which I mean if he's drumming up Twitter attention and that's it he's baiting people it's working I mean being the contrarian is working in terms of raw uh <laughs> raw exposure to people but I don't think it's positive exposure you're all frauds who want brand deals uh yeah they make YouTube videos they don't need to weigh in on the bunker buster allegations they just don't now some of the jokes being made about this are pretty funny like I <laughs> I can't deny it I've liked a few of these tweets I've definitely engaged in this myself it's funny it's in my ass, brother. <laughs> but Bruce Drop Him Off also gave some actual takes about this, where in my opinion, he showed himself to be more likely to have Down Syndrome than Sketch. Like when he said that Sketch is a danger to children. It's not about you being gay, gang. It's about you not telling nobody <laughs> and hiding it and coming a whole different alias. Like you're a new person. That's not cool, bro. At all. You got kids that watch you, gang. My little brother watch you, bro. And I'm not allowing him to watch you no more. Whereas Sneeko somehow managed to make this about Israel, Bruce Drop Him Off has made this about like, what the kids think of the children, as if he actually cares about that. And then he also managed to make it about how like black people are oppressed online somehow. So everybody that's, oh yeah, he's still my mans. Uh, uh, of course he's still y'all mans because he bring y'all a paycheck. Y'all gotta save his face. Look how Brand brandable he is brandable brandable N can do sex work brandable you can't say N though it's not brandable white folks can get f on cam by black dick and go announce it in the nfl gang but a real deal n who play madden all day with the green screen and sweating this gets no love I don't know his name, chat, but I'm fighting for all black creators at this motherfucking point like I've been doing. Bruce, you know that Aisha Speed and Kai Sinat are like some of the most famous people online, right? Like they are so famous. Just because they don't want to talk to you doesn't have anything to do with race. They are black themselves. You just suck personally and people don't like you because you're a shithead. Like Kai Sinat and Aisha Speed are, are way more famous than Queso and Jinxie. They just are. Like they are, they are way more famous than them. But somehow because Sketch is famous, it has to do with him being a white dude. And because people forgive him, it's also because he's a white dude. Like what, what the f*** are you talking about? And then you have his chat over here. Like facts, bro. That's actual facts. Facts. Bruce, the only honest one on the whole internet. He speaks the truth. Like, what the f are you talking about? You're a 
bro. You don't, you have one brain cell. If you watch Bruce drop him off in 2024, you have a subhuman IQ. You are below a cat, okay? You have the IQ of a f***ing slug. There are no functioning brains in that chat to agree with this take whatsoever. It's not even like, maybe if he had like a take that was coherent or something and it made sense, I would be like, okay, you know what? I disagree with him, but that's, that's you know, that makes sense. You're just dumb. You don't even know what you think. You're a moron. You got kids that watch you, gang. My little brother watch you, bro. And I'm not allowing him to watch you no more because you're just trying to cover this shit up. Like, it's okay for you to be gay. Nobody cares, bro. Nick did a stream with Brandon a barber. If you think I'm homophobic, think that. I don't give a But all that sex I know that's going to become a troll because y'all troll about the P. Diddy shit. All that shit, I don't give a Y'all don't take shit like this serious with kids. And that's why they end up gay at 11 years old that shit don't make no sense but sketch doesn't even talk about it he didn't want to talk about it his content is not about being a sex worker it's about madden so realistically the only way that these kids would actually find what you're talking about is by watching your stream and seeing you talk about it and i love all these streamers acting like they're a good influence on kids or something like they're like amazing role models i would actually argue that bruce is a much worse influence on children than sketch is because all sketch did was not come out and say that he did a bunch of gay shit okay which is like who cares bruce has literally engaged in illicit activity on live stream by smoking a little weed and i know everyone says oh weed's not that big of a deal okay but if you're promoting it to nine-year-olds and making it look cool to nine-year-olds maybe they will start smoking weed i don't think children should be doing any drugs whatsoever i mean come on bruce don't you think it's a bad idea to be engaging in illicit substances when you have a bunch of nine-year-olds watching you when nine-year-old timmy watches you who he somehow looks up to i don't know how his parents failed him to that point but he does look up to you he might think it's cool and go try it for himself and become a lazy stoner who who makes content like you. You see, this can go both ways. And as soon as someone says, think of the children, literally anything they do can and will be called into question, and it should be. Like, I don't care that Bruce smokes weed, but if he's gonna like come after Sketch, who he sucked a dick two years ago, and now it got leaked, and he didn't want to talk about it in the first place, right? If you're gonna come after him for doing something, I mean, as an adult, between consenting adults, it's harmless, right? If you're gonna come after him for that, I think people should come after you for literally anything bad you've ever done in your life. But I think Bruce probably barely believes what he's saying anyway. I think I think he just wants to be clipped on Twitter so people will talk about his dying name. He's like Sneeko, where he just has to be like a contrarian about everything. I don't even know why I'm trying with this guy. His brain is in the gutter. I, I don't know. I don't know why I'm attempting in the first place. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, he's cool. What he was gonna kill himself because he's gay. Oh, I've heard that one before. I was gonna kill myself because DMs got leaked. Shut up. Like, look at how dirty these shoes are, chat. But oh my fucking god. How many back shots he took in these? Be honest. How many bodies did these shoes see? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. The shoes and the glasses. They and what's even more hypocritical is that Bruce and Sneeko both claim to be religious and love God. I hate to break it to you guys, but one of the one of the most important parts of pretty much every religion, especially Christianity, is forgiveness and repentance. When someone does something bad, you are supposed to forgive them. You are supposed to say, hey, you did something bad. I'm going to pick you back up off your feet. I'm going to teach you how to not do it again, and I'm not going to hold this against you forever. Not that what Sketch did is even bad. I don't care. But if from the religious perspective, you think that being gay is wrong, it's against the Bible, then you should be willing to forgive him. If if you believe that being gay is bad, then you holding it against him forever is letting hate into your heart in a very real way. And that is actually demonic. The godly thing to do, the principal thing to do, would be to forgive him for his sins and allow him to move on and have a better life where he's not engaging in that anymore. Instead of holding it over his head forever like all of you want to do, because you want to farm Twitter impressions, you are not actually religious, you don't give a f you just want attention. You just want to shit on a guy for being gay. I mean, think about it this way. Sneeko was less mad at Dr. Disrespect for sexting a minor than he is at Sketch right now. How insane is that? Like, this guy is brain rotted, okay? This guy's brain rotted. Bruce drop him off is brain rotted. And any anyone who, like, thinks that this is a serious problem has, like, no brain cells left, I think. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's the truth. It's the truth. Oh, but why doesn't Sketch talk about Israel? Why would he ever talk about Israel? He plays Madden. Why, why should you expect that? Dr. Disgusting, says Valky Ray. Yuck! Says Pokimane, everyone hates you, but as soon as that second hits midnight, then she can sign up on OnlyFans, sell her body, and then everyone's gonna parade around and say, you go queen, you're an independent girl boss, slay, clown world. I don't know everything about Dr. Disrespect, but what is the, like, let's break it down. Pokimane pretty much does softcore for 14 year old boys. Her audience is 95% men, who are jerking off the entire stream. Oh, pokey, pokey, I wanna poke you, pokey. Most of them are teenagers. Most of them are underage. It doesn't even matter to them. Cause Twitch is 13 plus. 
So they're okay if you're 13 years old edging to Pokemon all day. But if Dr. Disrespect text a girl who's 17 years old, 11 months, 364 days, 59 minutes and 59 seconds, he's the worst person ever. Why? Someone tell me how that makes any sense. And as soon as that second goes away, she's a and everybody cheers. Now, because he had seen everything going on, Sketch obviously felt like he needed to respond to this stuff. And he did end up firing a stream and responding where he had a pretty good take on the whole thing. Elephant in the room, I got a haircut. Even in this situation, he's able to make jokes about it. Very based. Very, very based sketch. Based God sketch at it again. And he doesn't even deny it. He doesn't like claim that what happened didn't happen. He owns up to it. Was it planning on doing this today? But I guess so. Okay, I'll start from the top. Look at this. Open and honest. That was me. That was me. It's okay, though. I will tell you what. Okay. Two years ago, I did some stuff. I'm sorry if you've seen some of the stuff. You know, I'm a changed person. Um, this is going worse than I thought it was. Um, so two years ago, I did not have sexual relations with that man. I'm just kidding. I did. Possibly. <sighs> Catch out of the bag. And in this video, he says that the reason that he engaged in homosexual activity is because he was dealing with some addiction problems at the time, which led him to do some pretty serious things for that addiction. I assume that addiction was for like drugs, not not being gay. Maybe he was sucking dinglings, so to speak, for for money to pay for drugs. I don't really know. You can tell he's kind of nervous in the video. He doesn't really know what to say. And realistically, what is he even supposed to say? And he seemed to know that eventually this would come out and it would come back to bite him a little bit. I mean, he was doing OF stuff publicly at some point a few years ago, right? Not that long ago like two years ago so obviously it's going to come out at some point given how popular he's become and it did but apparently his plan if it did come out was to basically off himself i'll be honest plan a was and i will say candidly was to probably eat a eat uh well probably to call it quits if this ever came out but some people saved me shout out banks shout out my parents like Shout out, y'all, like, I f***ed up, but I'm changed. You know, all of these, all of these fake religious people, like Sneeko, probably would have laughed if this dude killed himself. They would probably be pissing on his grave. I have no faith they would have even felt bad for him at all. They would be like, well, that's what you get when you worship the devil, have fun in hell. It's ridiculous. Now, this guy named Tyreek Hill also posted about this. He said that Sketch played everyone. He, he played everyone, guys. He owned everyone. He pretended not to be gay and he turned out to be gay. But if you look into this guy's past, Tyreek Hill, he's in no position to call anyone out for literally anything. When he was in college, his girlfriend, who was eight weeks pregnant with his child, told the cops that he beat her. She said she was choked by him, punched in the stomach, keep in mind she's pregnant, and in the face, which is a horrible thing to do to anyone, especially your girlfriend, especially your pregnant girlfriend who is currently carrying your child. As a result, he went to jail for the night, and he was dismissed from all college football programs at the school he was at. He later pled guilty to these charges and got three years of probation. This is the caliber of person who is willing to say something negative about Sketch. Like, uh, how come everybody who's calling him out somehow is like a horrible skeleton in their own closet and is and if you really feel betrayed by sketch somehow i'm sorry but you are parasocially brain rotted and your opinion means basically nothing to me you are more than sketch's side profile sketch is not some spokesman for political issues he's a youtuber and he doesn't personally owe you anything he doesn't owe you an explanation for who he is now who he will be who he used to be unless he did something genuinely horrible like uh i don't know hiding a body in his basement but he didn't do that he's just kind of gay or he is gay i don't know whatever he is he's that okay who cares you don't know him you just watch his youtube videos this parasocial attachment of like oh man this is such a letdown how could he be gay it's it's so cringe like dude you, you don't know him anyway why are you idolizing this guy. The only good thing to come out of this is ultimately now Sketch doesn't have to live in fear of this coming out and he can, you know, be honest about who he is and uh, he, he knows that his career isn't going to be ended by, you know, it coming out that he's gay or was gay, what, what, whatever was going on, okay? I, I don't know how you used to be gay and now you're not. I don't, never heard of that, but you know what? To each their own, okay? The other good thing is that the memes are pretty funny. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you like this video. Uh, if you like it, leave a like. If you disliked it, leave a dislike. Leave a comment down below with your thoughts on how I'm based or cringe and I will see you in tomorrow's video. Goodbye.